Welcome to Selenium WebDriver with Java. I'm your instructor, Angie Jones. Selenium WebDriver is an object-oriented automation API that natively drives a browser as a user would. Selenium WebDriver supports multiple programming languages. And in this course, we'll focus on the Java implementation. If you don't know how to program in Java yet, no worries. I have another free course on Test Automation University called Java Programming. I strongly encourage you to take that course before beginning this one, if needed. If you're interested in learning about Selenium WebDriver and other programming languages, we do have other courses on Test Automation University that cover these. In this course, we'll learn how to install Selenium WebDriver and the other dependencies needed how to use the WebDriver API to launch and interact with websites, various techniques to find elements, such as buttons, links, text, dropdowns, and more within a web application. WebDriver API calls to interact with those elements, such as clicking, entering and reading text, selecting options, handling pop-ups and alerts, uploading files, working with iframes, and more as well as advanced interactions such as hovering and sending alternative keys like tab as well as symbols. We'll learn how to integrate the WebDriver API with the test assertion library such as TestNG, how to organize our test code using the page object model, various wait strategies to control the timing of our scripts and avoid flaky tests, how to take screenshots during test executions and have our code listen for specific WebDriver events and perform additional actions like logging our test activity. We'll cover how to customize the browser used in test execution as well as how to run headless tests, advanced topics like navigating multiple open tabs within a browser as well as cookie management. And for anything we can't do with the WebDriver API, we'll learn how to write custom actions using JavaScript. We have a lot to cover in this course, and I'll not only show you how to use the WebDriver API, but I'll also use examples to explain why certain calls are needed and when they should be used. I've also included optional independent exercises that you can try on your own to further lock in what you're learning. Let's begin. Mm -hmm.